I hate squirrels. Hey, howdy, hey, train wrecks. How are you today? I am the glorious train wreck mom, and we're going to talk about squirrels today. If you read my book, Platitudes of Gratitude, uh, sorry, I just woke up, but I'm, I'm, you have no idea. You'll see that I mentioned squirrels, and I've mentioned squirrels a couple times in different places. I hate squirrels. I loathe them. And everyone's like, oh, how can you hate squirrels? They're so cute. They're so fluffy and fuzzy. No. I hate squirrels. But let me tell you why. Today, I was dreaming happily, walking through an art museum with Chris Pratt, holding hands, looking at all the beautiful art, and looking at the beautiful Chris Pratt. And he gets down on one knee. And I'm like, hey. And he goes, I have to ask you something. And then he says, what the hell? A, I blink, and he has a squirrel face. I wake up, and I can hear them. I can hear them running back and forth, jumping and bumping, hopping and popping, dropping acorns. Oh my god, it's acorn season here. Remember I talked about liking fall? Yeah, I love fall. 99.9% .9 of everything about fall, I love fall. However, I am surrounded by, a by acorn dropping oak trees. In the spring, these oak trees try to kill me. In the fall, they drop acorns. And what eats acorns? Squirrels. Squirrels. Running back and forth across my roof. Disturbing my dreams. Because good lord knows I get a whole of maybe four hours of sleep a night. So yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, squirrels. Go ahead. Ruin my dreams. Just go ahead. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're but that's not even the worst part of it. Because there's a there's an even farther explanation for this. When I moved out of my mom's house, I did like every other kid in South Philadelphia, I moved down the block and around the corner to a new apartment. And this apartment was completely refurbished. Oh my god, it was completely refurbished. Everything was new. New carpets, new paint, new walls. Only thing it didn't have was air conditioning. Small consolation, right? So, we move in. Everything's awesome for like the first week. I'm, I'm digging the whole, I'm a big girl, I got my own apartment, you know. Yeah. Around 5.30 in the morning one morning, I hear. I'm like, eh? There's a rapping as of someone d gently tapping, tapping at my kitchen window, which is a little hard to do because it's two stories up. Oh, the raven. I go into the kitchen, I look, and there's a squirrel. Sitting there. Knocking at my window. I'm like, whatever, you know? I leave to go to work. And this is when the war started. It throws an acorn and hits me in the head. Right in the head. Like, A? Eh? What'd I do? This continued for six weeks. Every morning, I left my apartment, and that little booger got his buddies together and started chucking acorns at my head. Every morning for six weeks. I started wearing my bicycle helmet just to go do laundry at my mom's house. For real. It, it was terrible. It was, it was like anxiety kind of thing. And then they, they would all sit in my windows and stare at me. It was like, dude, curtains, Shoo, creepy little creepers, okay? Well, after six weeks, <clears throat> I wasn't getting the message they were sending to me. 
so they started using heavier artillery. That's right, they started throwing rocks at me. For three months, they started throwing rocks at me. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, after six months of living in my apartment, my landlady, who had a, a hair salon underneath where my apartment was, she asked me, she goes, oh, so how are you liking it? And I was like, oh, I like it, except what's up with the squirrels? You know, just trying to be, you know, hey, the squirrels are trying to kill me every day. What's going on? I'm getting a little paranoid. And she's like, oh, I was wondering when you were going to talk to me about that. Wait, this is a thing? You were wondering when I was going to talk to you about this? You didn't think about bringing up this crazy squirrel deal in my contract or, or my lease or tell me about that when I looked at the place? Now, six months later, after I sign and give you money every month, now you think that you should tell me something? No, God! Isn't there a law? No, God! I thought there was a law. I know there's a law that says that realtors have to tell you if, uh, like, someone was murdered and, or if your place is haunted. I think killer squirrels should be on that list, too. Just a thought. And she goes, yeah... Do you remember there was a whole lot of construction here back last year? And I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. That's when you guys were refurbishing. She goes, yeah, do you know why? And I'm like, oh, it's... my whole life was college and, and work back at that point. So I, I have no idea. Apparently, the lady who had the apartment before me was going through a little bit of a breakup. Originally, she just started off by feeding the squirrels. She would put a bird feeder out and just let the squirrels go. All right, cool. Well, after her really bad breakup, she knocked windows and part of a wall out and invited the squirrels to come and live with her because that's what crazy chicks do. Because, wow, especially in Philly? Are you kidding me? These aren't really squirrels. They are rats. They are rats that look like they're trying to start a fashion statement. Okay? No. No, 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 no. You don't do that. But she did. And in they came. And when they got evicted, they got mad. And I haven't been feeding them the way she was. And they were letting me know they were displeased with it. Are you kidding me? I swear, guys. I could not make this up, okay? It was the most ridiculous thing. I'm like, you're telling me these squirrels are, like, legitimately trying to kill me every day because some crazy chick had her heart broken and wanted to become queen of the squirrels. Mm-hmm. So for the next year and a half, I kept a bird feeder filled with bird seed out as far away from my front door as I could. And if it had started to get a little bit low, I always got one drop of an acorn on the head. As a subtle reminder, don't let it go empty or it starts again. And that is why I hate squirrels. I hate squirrels so much. It is absolutely ridiculous. And... It, what, like, people think it's a joke? No, 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 not a joke. Not a joke at all. You know why it's not a joke? Because people think it's a joke, but it's not. Because it's one of those things, it's not like, it, it's kind of like with a fear, where people think, oh, it's funny, oh, plastic rubber spider. No, dude, no, no. I am legitimately terrified of squirrels, but I hate them more than I'm afraid of them, and I would have no problem just, like, taking care of every squirrel on my property seriously and I think it's funny that my mother-in-law thought it was funny to try to hide a squirrel on my Christmas tree the other day not a, not the other day like you know like three years ago or whatever and it wasn't a real squirrel don't panic I know we're weird out here in the Ozarks but don't don't panic it was a little stuffed squirrel it's okay because we put a beanie bag chocolate the moose next to it so we have moose and squirrel and that goes either way whether you're Rocky and Bullwinkle or Supernatural fans so there you go so now in case you've ever wanted to know that's why I hate squirrels I would love to know if you hate squirrels if you're team squirrel if you're not team squirrel if you're team whatever else let me know throw some comments down down below give me a like give me a subscribe give me a share don't forget to hit that little bell so you get all the train wreck goodness and speaking of train wreck goodness my book is still available platitudes of gratitude on Kindle 
I think that's all for today, kids. So, all aboard, train wrecks. <laughs>